covered from head to toe in every piece of protective gear they have. These dismounted reconnaissance platoon soldiers don't quite know exactly what they are getting ready to walk into. Focus here is sensitive site exploitation and assessment. Essentially evaluating what the hazard is and, and taking samples of the found products. This is part of a demonstration of chemical, biological, radiological and nuclear capabilities, or CBURN, that the U.S. Army's 340th chemical company conducted to test their capability. The unit invited Seaburn specialists from the Japan Self-Defense Forces to Naval Air Facility Atsugi to observe the demonstration. It's extremely important to show our support for our allies, and we need to be able to identify where we are both weak and strong so that we can complement each other well. Earlier this year, several members of the 340th Chemical Company observed the Japan Ground Self-Defense Forces Seaburn capabilities at their installation. In order to maintain readiness and reinforce the U.S.-Japan alliance, the company has worked together with the USAJ Seaburn team, the Air Force, and the Navy to host a week-long capabilities demonstration for their Japanese counterparts. In order to bridge that gap with them so that we can work together bilaterally during future exercises and to have proper response in the event we ever need to do so. Chief Front Officer to Shafiq Karamat, Company executive officer said one of the purposes of the event was to make it as interactive as possible. Observers broke into small groups and communicated closely with the soldiers. It's been a wonderful opportunity to have them out here, have us ask questions, compare a little bit to how they run things as well as our processes and procedures. It helps us create and refine our SOPs. We have M12 and then a spray bars and set up in front of our vehicles to shoot out water at 45 degrees. The unit's heavy decontamination platoon demonstrated a terrain decon mission in the field. This is the first time I've had observers that many, and uh, but it was a great experience. Felt very, very motivated, very excited. We kind of put this plan together ourselves. We ran with it, everything executed perfectly. We were all on the same page. Each platoon created their own mission scenarios and spent weeks practicing for this day. Throughout the week, static displays were available at each site and Defense Threat Reduction Agency and Air Force members brought their presentations to the participants. It's extremely important for us to understand what all of our U.S. branches and all of our bilateral branches bring to the table. Seaburn is life, Seaburn is everything, and Seaburn rocks. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan, I'm Aya Watsuji.